Hey everybody, Mr. Uh, Polymers here, actually, call me Terry, uh, doing a uh, little experiment with my uh, quad, so I've got both cameras running, i got the Mobius on the uh, Cheerson, and I have my official Cleveland Browns uh, visor cam on, so this has the uh, GoPro uh, a clone on it, so anyway, what we're doing today is we're flying the Cheerson with the 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is here. I removed the gimbal, by the way. All I'm running is just the, uh, you can see it, is just the, uh, the Mobius to reduce weight. I can't run the 5,000 amp hour battery, the gimbal, and the Mobius. It's over 1,400 grams, just too much weight. Anyway, we're going to try this setup. Now, the only additional thing I've done is I put a low voltage alarm here. This is because the alarm on this Cheerson is not very loud, and I don't know if it's due to one of the crashes. But anyway, this thing's pretty loud, so we're just going to... It's my first time actually using this alarm. What I'm trying to achieve is... Uh, what I'm trying to achieve is around 10 minutes flight time with the bigger battery. If I can do that, then I may, uh, may go FPV with this which means placing a 5.8 gigahertz transmitter on the quad, which is, uh, I don't believe, is more than 20 grams or so. They're, they're pretty light, the transmitters, 29 grams, whatever. So anyway, let's give her a shot. I'm at the North Canton Radio Control Hawks uh, flying area, the club here. And uh, I'm the only one here, by the way, and it, it's cool. It's only 48 degrees, so... Overcast and it was sprinkling a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. So let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm running the battery's running about 94 95 percent, so it's not quite full, but it's good enough for my trial here. Okay, quad's ready to go. I'll walk back here for my transmitter. As you can see the transmitter, I have a, uh, a digital uh, timer here. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, see if this thing, I can achieve uh, 10 minutes flight time on this battery. So. I'm going to get real close to the quad here. Those are the lights I've often spoke about on my videos. Hopefully you can see them now. There's a green to the right. That's GPS. As you can see, it's blinking. That means I don't have a GPS signal yet, so I don't want to take off. And the, uh, the red light to the left, that's my motor lock. Again, it's blinking, meaning my motors aren't armed, so it won't fly anyway. So anyway, sometimes I have to move the quad around a little bit or sometimes even take it off brief, briefly to get a GPS signal. So let's see what happens. I'm going to move it around here a little bit. I don't want to fly without GPS signal in, in the event I need to uh, I get into a situation where I have to use the return to home function. If I don't have a GPS signal, it's not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and just lift her off for a little bit. Make sure my switch is SWB is at zero, SWA is at zero. That's manual mode. Okay, as you can see, I do have uh, the light is green to the right, solid green. So I guess I'm ready to go. I just have to unlock the motors. Okay, they're blinking. Okay, the quad's ready to go. Here's my timer. I'm going to set start. And here we go. Let's see how far we can fly this thing.
coming up to a minute. Again, just taking it nice and easy, flying it around here. Again, this is the 5,000 milliamp hour battery. She's doing really well. No problem climbing. Nice good speed. Again, you're probably not going to see it with my uh, visor cam. little sluggish on the climb there, a little sluggish. Curly at over four minutes. Again, I'm watching the time and I'm also listening for that alarm on the Cherson. And she's really booking here. Obviously, you have some winds up to altitude a little bit. Again, performance is a little hampered as far as uh, climbing rate with the, uh, I believe it's a 350, 360 gram, 5,000 milliamp hour, hour battery. So it's something you have to consider when you're flying this thing, especially like I do. Sometimes I try, try to fly up to a tree and climb over it real fast. Well, you just don't have quite the climb rate with this larger battery. And there's no way I would have anything with the uh, gimbal, the 208 gram gimbal I had on some of my previous videos. That would just make this way too heavy.
The lights are still solid on the Chirsa, meaning the battery voltage is still good. According to the Chirsa, I hear no alarms. Currently at over six minutes. If I had the regular, if I had the standard 2700 milliamp hour battery, I would probably start to bring it down about now. Again, she's a little sluggish with the climb. Coming up at seven minutes. Again, no indication of low voltage. Okay, starting to see a couple blinks on the Cherson. Lights are blinking. I'm not getting a low voltage alarm yet though. Nine minutes. Ten minutes. Okay, I'm going to take her to twelve minutes, and I'm going to bring her down anyway. So. Coming up on 11 minutes.
Okay, low voltage alarm is going on. I'm going to bring this baby down. Twelve minutes. As you can see in here, let me lock the motors up. Don't want to get near it. There we go. This red light needs to be blinking before I get anywhere near the props. There's the low voltage alarm. If you can see it, it's reading 11.4 volts. So that's within my comfort level. Anyway, Mr. Polymers, uh, 12 minutes on the 5,000 milliamp hour battery with the Mobius camera. No gimbal, by the way. So I may be putting an FPV uh, transmitter on it, depending on the weight, if it's not more than 29, 30 grams. So we'll catch you guys later.